I never dreamed when I got up that morning that within a few hours my life would almost be over. Calling it an emotional day would be an understatement. The day time stood still for many Oklahomans. Now, 21 years later, April 19, 1995, will be forever etched in our history. Until now, LaDana Mock, a resident at Grace Living Center Northeast 21st, had shied away from cameras, but was gracious enough to sit down and talk about what she remembers about that day. It started out normal. I did not work in the building. My best friend worked for HUD. It was her birthday. I had a gift for her. She didn't survive. All I remember, like a camera, when it goes off, you blink. I remember something orange. I didn't. I was about 300 feet from the truck that had the explosives in it, smoking a cigarette, leaning up against a wall. And I remember a, a flash, like right in my face. And it, I was told later it was fire. Evidently, I was one of the first ones that was pulled out. I don't remember any of this. That's what I was told. This uh, Sergeant Don Browning and his rescue dog Gunny. He said his dog pulled me out by my clothing. He picked me up in his arms and handed me, I believe, to a fireman who took me to an ambulance. He said I was one of the first ones. And I said, what was around me? You know, he said, you don't want to know. Mrs. Mock has visited the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial only once. I was not prepared for what I saw. I was overwhelmed. It got to me pretty bad. And I, and I don't want people to see me cry because they don't understand. Mrs. Mock is not listed on the survivor's wall. We're told survivors must come forward and fill out a form because there's no way to track down everyone who was in the area. The daytime stood still on Northwest 5th Street in downtown Oklahoma City. i tell you one thing, I'll never take life for granted again, ever, because you don't know.